friends in today's episode we will see few more sums from different topics here is the first question that a container full of mixture contains 60% of milk a part of this mixture is replaced by another mixture containing 20% of milk and now the percentage of milk was found to be 30% the quantity of mixture replaced the each now this can be solved by allegation method so first draw a straight line here we write first average here the second average here we write weighted average here n1 and n2 so the first container is full of mixture containing 60% of milk and another is containing 20% of milk and the average of these two is 30% and so first we will find the ratio n1 and n2 so what we do we take 60 minus 30 that is equal to 30 we write it here and 30 minus 20 that is n1 is equal to 10 so the ratio you get as 10 is to 30 and that is 1 is to 3 so the ratio is 1 is to 3 and therefore the quantity of mixture replaced that will be equal to 3 by 4 because total parts are 4, 3 plus 1, 4 parts are there. Out of that 4 part, 3 parts will be of the mixture that is replaced. So it will be 3 by 4. This I am solving directly. If you want to understand this method, please see the videos on allegation. Next question is the ratio of present ages of A and B is 5 is to 4 respectively. 8 years hence, the age age will be 63 years. Then what is the present age of C? who is 5 years older than B. Now here the ratio of the present ages of A and B are in the ratio of 5 is to 4. Age present age will be equal to 63 minus 8 because it is said that A's age will be 63 years after 8 years. So after 8 years his age is 63 years. So today's age will be 63 minus 8 and which is equal to 55 years. Therefore B's present age that will be equal to 55 divided by 5 multiplied by 4 because their ages are in the ratio of 5 is to 4 and so it will be 5 ones are 5 5 11 are 55 so it will be 44 years therefore C's present age will be equal to 44 plus 5 since in the condition it is said that C is 5 years older than B, B is 44, so C will be 44 plus 5 and that will be equal to 49 years. A certain sum of money amounts becomes rupees 906 in 2 years. 
and rupees 1140 in 5 years find the rate of interest per annum to find the rate of interest we know that simple interest is equal to prt upon 100 so to find r we require simple interest we require principal we require time so here we know that the in two years the amount is rupees 906 and in five years the amount is 1140 rupees and so the interest for three years will be equal to 1140 minus 906 and that will be equal to 234 so the interest for three years is rupees 234 so interest for one year will be 234 divided by 3 and that is equal to rupees 78 since this interest is for one year the interest for two years that will be equal to 78 into 2 and therefore principal is equal to amount minus interest so amount is 906 rupees minus interest for two years is 78 multiplied by 2 so if you solve this you get it as 750 rupees so the interest is seven, sorry principal amount is 750 rupees and we have to find rate so rate will be equal to 78 divided by principal that is 750 multiplied by 100 if you cannot write it directly it is just like for 750 rupees the interest is 78 rupees so for 100 rupees the interest will be how much we multiply this two and divide by the first one so 78 into 100 divided by 750 and that you get 10.4 percent so the rate of interest in the given case is 10.4 percent a sum of money divided among ram rani raju and rakhi in the ratio of 9 is to 7 is to 8 is to 11 if the share of Ram and Rani is rupees 2080, then what is the difference between the amount obtained by Raju and Rakhi? Now here, the share of Ram and Rani is equal to rupees. 2080 and the share of them is 9 is to 7 so the total parts are 16 parts so one part will be equal to one part that will be equal to 2080 divided by 16 and so this one part is rupees 130 
since the one part is rupees 130 nine parts will be of ram seven parts will be of rani eight parts will be of raju and eleven parts will be of rakhi we have to find about raju and rakhi so raju's part is eight and rani's rakhi's part is 11 so rakhi's part is equal to one hundred and thirty multiplied by eleven that is equal to one thousand four hundred thirty and Raju's part that is equal to one thirty multiplied by eight and that is equal to 1040 and we have to find the difference between them so minus this and this difference comes to rupees 390 therefore the difference between the amount obtained by Raju and Rakhi is rupees 390 friends thank you very much for watching this video I hope you might have enjoyed this if yes please like it share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so that you will get updates right into your mailbox thank you very much friends you might have enjoyed this video then go to thumbs up button and click then go to share tab and share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and many more. And to get the updates right in your mailbox, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.